Hello and welcome to Nan Loves Food. I am Anne here today with another Trader Joe's haul. So this one is gonna be a little bit different than Trader Joe's hauls I've done in the past because I've picked up some kind of unique items, most of which I've never actually tried before. So I'm super excited to show you what I have today. And if you make sure you're subscribed to this channel, uh, there will be videos coming out where we do little taste tests of all of these items. So you can see if they're good, if they're bad, what the nutrition looks like. So make sure you're subscribed and tune in to that. We are gonna start this haul today with a mini taste test because it is the next morning after I went to Trader Joe's and um, we have the blueberry lavender almond beverage, which I have never had before. I'm very excited to give this a try. Uh, and we're gonna make this into a latte. What a great way to start the morning, huh? So come on, I'll show you how I do that. Okay, just to give you uh, some of the nutrition information here, it is four servings per container. So a cup is a serving, almost no protein, just a wee bit of fat, uh, pretty low in calories. Uh, and there are the ingredients for you. Obviously it contains almond because it's almond milk, but there don't seem to be any other allergens in there if that's a concern for you. Definitely some sugar though. Good morning. I have to say it's very fragrant. It's super blueberry-y, which I wasn't really expecting. Mmm. Oh, that is really good. Really, really good. Uh, it is, I mean, the coffee is by far the predominant flavor and then you get that blueberry. It's a little artificial blueberry-y, but if you like that sort of blueberry candy vibe, this is just a really interesting way to spice up your morning latte. I do think I want just a little, a touch of sugar in here, not much. Um, there is some in the almond milk already, but just, just a skosh, but that is quite enjoyable. And if you're interested, I'll go ahead and leave the link for my milk frother in the description below. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna start with the refrigerated stuff first. So, like I said, I just picked up stuff that I've either never had before or don't remember having had and I'm excited to try uh, and share with you guys because this is stuff I wouldn't even necessarily look for or know to look for from Trader Joe's. So first we have this sparkling coconut water with, I think you pronounce it yuzu. I had a cocktail at Disney World with this yuzu stuff in it. Uh, it it's just a citrus fruit and dang, it was good. Okay, so try excited to try the sparkling coconut water. Also got some of their sparkling strawberry juice beverage. I've had their other ones, but I don't know that I've had the strawberry, so I can't imagine that's bad. Okay, this I'm a little skeptical of if we're being honest, but I decided it was worth a try. It is an organic juice beverage, uh, the power of seven green. So it's got cucumber, spinach, kale, lemon, green apple, ginger, and celery in it. This is a pasteurized product, so you're not gonna get like all the nutrition from all the goodness that's in there, but I figured it was worth a try. Got some apple cider vinegar beverage. Not something I would normally pick up, but again, interesting. Now this is something I haven't had that I am very excited to try. It is their corn chowder. So potatoes, onions, celery, carrot, and uncured bacon pieces. Yes, please. I'm sure that'll make for a great lunch. Grabbed the vegan caramelized onion dip which is a dairy-free product. I believe I've heard good things about this on the interwebs, but you never know. So yeah, we'll give that a go and see how it is. I also got this other creamy cauliflower dip. So this one has cream cheese, ricotta cheese, and Parmesan cheese, uh, and it's obviously jalapeno flavored. I got some of the sesame crusted ahi tuna, which I love ahi tuna, especially with sesame seeds, so can't imagine that's a bad thing. Also, I've never seen these before. I don't know if they're new or if they're just new to me, uh, but a Philly cheesesteak bao uh, sounds right up my alley um, and my husband's alley, to be honest. Uh, Philly cheesesteak in a fluffy bao bun with shredded beef, onion, and bell pepper. Those are in the frozen section. It's only got four in there uh, and they're just over 100 calories each. Uh, they do contain milk, soy, and wheat if you're concerned about that. We'll see about those. All right, we have these soft strawberry licorice twists. I know that there are people online who just absolutely swear by these being the best thing ever. 
I don't generally like licorice, so we'll see on that one. But I love strawberry. This is the peri peri sauce. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this like on chicken nuggets or something, like chicken tenders. I had something similar to this when I was recently on vacation and it was delicious, but it was spicy, spicy. So I'm sure this one is too. Honestly, bought this one because it was pretty. This bottle is just stunning. I don't know if you can tell how kind of holographic it is. And then the bottle is cut so gorgeously. Uh, I did talk to the cashier as I was checking out about this particular bottle. She said it wasn't her favorite rosé, but what she did was she took the bottle and she put some of those battery-operated fairy lights in it once the wine was gone and made herself this absolutely beautiful lamp. And she showed me a picture of it in her apartment and it was really, really cool. So just an idea, if you need a, an excuse for a bottle of wine, you can also use it for a lamp. Grab some of the Cacio e Pepe uh, pasta sauce. Now, my husband is a bit of a snob when it comes to jarred Alfredo sauces. So we'll see about this one. I normally don't buy this sort of thing because he's normally not a fan. It is pretty high uh, in calories for this sort of thing. A quarter of a cup has 110 calories. Hooey. And obviously uh, we've got some cheese. So there is plenty of dairy if you can't do the dairy. But it's pecorino and black pepper are the two notes on that one. Grab some tomato paste. Um, I love this stuff in a tube. Uh, this is not a, a new or different ingredient for us, but uh, when we have fresh tomatoes coming in from the garden like we do now, to be able to just squeeze a little bit and not have to open a whole can is super handy dandy. So like having that on hand. Got some of these ginger chews. Uh, I've had this brand before, but I don't know that I've actually ever had the original. Uh, I'm getting ready to go on an airplane here in a couple of weeks. And uh, ginger always helps my tummy. So I'm gonna have these on hand in the backpack just in case there's some tummy upset. Grabbed these protein bites by Enjoy Life. Uh, this is the dark raspberry flavor. Never had anything quite like this. Uh, at least not a raspberry flavored one. So yeah, we'll see. These are a little scary to me. I hope they're not too, too, too hot. Uh, a Thai chili uh, sesame seed snack. I feel like these could burn my face off. We will see. I was super excited. I have never seen these before. Um, I absolutely love cowboy beans. There's a brand that I normally buy that comes in a can. I don't have any on hand right now, but um, I absolutely, it's one of my favorite, favorite things. Matthew doesn't love beans. So when I can get them in individual servings like this, this is great because I can just have basically dinner, a rice packet and a bean packet ready to go. And that can be an easy... No, no thinking, no work in dinner, which I love. I'm sure they'd also make a great side with barbecue or whatever. Anything that says butterscotch has my name all over it. So this is a milk and dark chocolate butterscotch bits bar. Didn't take a lot of convincing to put that in my cart. Organic watermelon jerky. So I don't, I don't even really understand what this is. It looks like watermelon chips on the back and the only ingredient is organic watermelon. Probably not bad. I'm curious to see the texture on this though. Uh, I do love when they are realistic about their serving size and I can eat the whole package. And we don't have to lie to each other about what's gonna happen. <laughs> I have some dried hibiscus flowers. They are sweetened and I know hibiscus is pretty tart all on its own. I literally have no idea what to do with these. So if you have any suggestions for me, please leave them in the comments below. It's a, a totally foreign ingredient to me. So I'll be curious to see what we come up with about how to try these. I don't recall ever having seen queso at Trader Joe's before. Uh, I love all things queso. We love all things queso in this house. It is a vegetarian queso and obviously contains milk. Trader Joe's is making queso. I should probably be eating it. Okay, this is one of those things where it's like, have we gone too far, Trader Joe's? I don't know. These are porkless pork rinds. Uh, they are spicy plant-based rice and pea seasoned snacks. The picture on the front looks like pork rinds. Three and a half servings per container in this tiny little bag. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's mostly rice and pea protein. So cayenne, they're probably hot. So we'll see. I'm skeptical. I don't know if you say it farro or farro. I bet that both are used. Um, I've, I'm pretty sure I've heard it both ways. But this is a quick cook one. So this is basically just pre-cooked and then you cook it for 10 more minutes and it's done. This was another one that got me at the checkout aisle. Dark chocolate sea salt caramels. Okay. 
Yum. Popcorn in a pickle. I don't recall if I've had this or not. I may have, but I don't remember if it's good or not. So it says that it's tangy. So we'll see about that. Curious to give that one a try. Spoiler alert, we did actually already try this. Um, this is the sofrito, the Italian style sofrito. So this has onions, sun-dried tomatoes, sea salt, garlic, peppers, parsley, rosemary, and sage. So this, I used, um, I actually made some garlic bread and sprinkled this on the garlic bread and it was good, but it kind of, it's a little thick in texture for a garlic bread. I'm wondering if maybe I should soak it in oil first. Like it's just a little, it's all dried. And so it's a little crunchy. Like the flavor is awesome, right? All those things taste delicious. I just don't know that I found the right application for this. I also have to believe it'd be good in pasta, but you'd have to soften it up some. And I'm not sure the best way to do that. So this is very good. Would recommend picking some up. I just haven't found the perfect way to enjoy it yet. Okay, so there is one last thing that just caught my eye and I'm like, okay, this shouldn't weird me out, but it kind of does. It is the Shelf Stable Trader Joe's Whipping Cream. Shelf Stable Cream kind of wigs me out, but also I eat like evaporated canned milk often. Like I eat sweetened condensed milk often. How is that different than cream in a box? I don't know, except I normally cook that, I guess. And this is like for whipping cream. So I think this is one of those pantry staples that like, assuming it doesn't taste weird, will probably be in my pantry forever because it's always great to have cream on hand. And I don't like to buy the big things of cream as we don't go through it. We'll use maybe this much, maybe a little less. It does say that you refrigerate it for six hours before whipping. So I guess if you're gonna use it in like macaroni and cheese or something, you would probably just be able to eat it as is. Kind of strange. I will follow up with you guys about this one because I'm a little unsure. So that is all for the Trader Joe's taste test today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And like I said, make sure you're subscribed. I'll be doing those short format reviews of these kind of odd Trader Joe's products right here on my YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you soon. Bye.